Hello everyone, today let's learn about arithmetic series. So let's get moving with the first question. So our first question is, what is the sum, what, I'm sorry, what is the 50th term of the arithmetic sequence 3, 7, 11, 15, and so on? So to solve this, it would take a long time to actually write out all the 50 terms and that would take a really long time. So instead, we're gonna use a little shortcut. So we're gonna do, use a formula. So to find the nth term, and in this case, it's the 50th term, we're gonna be using this formula. So let me write it down. A n equals A plus, n minus one times d. So you're probably wondering, what does n, what does d stand for? I'll tell you. So, a n is the last term, or the 50th term in this case, and a one is the first term, three. n is how many numbers there are, and we need to find the 50th term, which means there's 50 numbers and D stands for the common difference. So now we're gonna fill in the variables. So three plus 50 minus one times four. You're probably wondering, why did I take four? It's because the difference between three and seven, I mean, seven and three is four. 11 and seven, four. 15 and 11, four. This pattern goes on, till the 50th term, and so on, maybe. So now, let's solve. 49 plus three and four. Let's just write it out. So now we're gonna do the multiplication first. Four. So we get 16, 196, and plus three, we get 199. So that means our 50th term is 199. So that's the shortcut to find the nth term. Now let's move on to the next question. What is the sum of the first 30 terms of the arithmetic sequence 50, 45, 40, 35, and so on. So for this one, we notice that we need to find the sum of the first 30 terms of the sequence. We can also see that the sequence is decreasing. So here's a small note. Arithmetic series is only for addition and subtraction. So this form these formulas I'm gonna tell you, they only apply to addition and subtraction. If you want to find out the ones for multiplication and division, check out my uh, next video about geometric series. Anyway, let's continue. So, the first 30 terms. So, to solve this, we're also going to use another formula. And this formula is to find the sum of the numbers. So, let's write down the formula. And A1 plus A. Okay, I'll tell you what these um, variables stand for. N, again, stands for how many numbers there are. There are 30 terms. A1 stands for the first term, and AN stands for the last term. So, to solve this, first we need to find out what the last term is. So, to do that, we're going to be doing first let's fill in the things we know and then we'll find that so there are 30 terms by two 50 is our first term plus a n which we're not sure of yet so remember our last formula to find out what is the nth term we're going to be applying it here too so 
for this question, we need to apply both these formulas. So after we find, find out what an is, we can find out the sum. So let's find out what an stands for. So let's apply this formula. If you guys need to look back at it, it's right up here. Okay, so now let's fill it up. So an is what we need to solve for. So the first term, 50 plus n minus 1. So there's 30 minus 1 times the common difference, which in this case, you may say it's 5, but actually this is a decreasing, right? And the other one we looked out looked at is an increasing pattern. This one is decreasing. So we're going to put a negative 5 here because it's decreasing. Now let's solve it. So 29 times negative 5. So do you guys remember what happens when we do a negative times positive? Yeah, we get a negative. So let's do 29 times 5 and add the negative sign. And negative 145 plus 50. So we're actually going to do minus 50 because we're going to do 145 minus 50. It's going to be much easier than doing minus plus and all that stuff. So let's do it that way. So I'm just going I just left it out like this, but actually we're just going to do minus. So 5 minus 0, 0, 14, and 14 minus 5 is equal to 9. And don't forget the negative sign. So the last term would be negative 95. Now I'm just going to erase some of these stuff before we go on. So let's just erase some of our work so we have space to calculate. Oops, sorry. Huh. Okay, so what we got before, we're just going to insert it here. Do you guys remember? Yeah, it was negative 95. So I'm just going to put parentheses inside this so we know it's not a plus and a minus at the same time. So we don't get confused. So now we're going to do 50 plus negative 95 or negative 95 minus 50 with the minus sign, which we get negative 45. And now we're going to multiply that by 30 over 2. So first, let's multiply 45 and 30, and then divide it by 2. So negative times a positive is a negative. So I'm just going to solve it now. So we get this. And now let's divide and we will find our answer to Yes, we got our answer. It's negative 675. So that is the sum of the first 30 terms of the arithmetic sequence. It's negative because the term itself, it's all decreasing. So once it decreases fully and then it's going to be negative, you know, it's going to be negative. So that's why our answer came here as a negative. Now we're going to go to our next question. How many multiples are there between 62 and 215? Oh, multiples of three. So let's underline that and underline some important information. So to count out every single multiple of 3 between 62 and 215 is not easy. It'll take a lot of time, and we want to do it fast. So here's a simple formula, so simple that you can remember it right now. So I'm going to put it as last term. I'm just going to write last minus first term over the common difference, which we know I represent it as a d plus 1. 
Now let's solve. So we want to find the multiples of three. So even though there may be a different common difference, we want to find only the multiples of three. And that would be three, six, nine, and so on. And there would be a diff common difference between three, six, and nine, a common difference of three. So we're going to write three for the common difference. Last term, 215. First term, oh, it's last term minus first term, sorry, guys. So, 215 minus 62 plus 1. So, let's start solving. 215 minus 62. One hundred fifty-three. Now let's divide that by three. And now we're gonna add one to that because it's right here. So let's add one. We get fifty-two. So that means there's fifty-two multiples of three between sixty-two and two hundred fifteen. So I hope you understood this video and liked my video. So if you did like it, share it with your friends so they can enjoy it too. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.